Hi, hey, today I'm going to show you how to rig a spider. Hey, thank you for checking out this spider rigging series. This is video five, I believe, in this series of the spider that I'm rigging for the next episode of Popcorn the Cockatoo. Um, we have already created joints, did a basic skinning pass, and then started creating controls. In this video, I'm going to finish up creating the controls, um, optimize them, like get them ready to start attaching to the skeleton, and then mirroring them. So we haven't done that yet. So let's hop right in. So first, I'm going to just double check what I've got here. We've got our legs, the feeler, and the mouth. These are just F, these things are gonna be FK down here. And so these bits here in the front and the abdomen are gonna be FK and then the legs are IK. And I'm not gonna worry about doing IK, FK switching on this, but I am gonna create a space switch where the legs can follow the body. So, let's grab all the left side controls, all of those, and put those in a group. Control G. And I'll just call this left side controls group. Duplicate that, and flip it in X. And now I'm gonna go through this and rename them so that left turns into right. So modify, search and replace, just change L to R and the underscore in case you have a word that starts with L or R, uh, it's good to just throw the underscores in there too. So apply that, renamed everything, get rid of that one. Okay, so now the controls are mirrored. So let's start hooking things up and see what happens. So my cog gimbal is gonna be the one driving. Uh, I need to turn my joints on to so cog gimbal and then the cog do rigging constrain pop that out parent and just double check that translates and rotates are both working add do the body actually I'm double check pivots as I go to so body or abdomen to this Parent. Um, for these IK handles, I'm going to just put them directly under the control. So hit P on the keyboard, not a parent constraint. Because this, I don't want them to actually follow the rotations, I just want the pivots. And sometimes this might flip. So let's see. Um, okay, if I take this, Okay, well it's working so far, so let's try let's rotate the body. Uh, 
Okay. Abdomen needs to be... Uh, the reason I didn't make this a child of the cog is because I want to be able to turn off the cog control to the visibility of it. So I still need to constrain these to the cog. So this is the cog gimbal. I'm going to constrain the abdomen. Uh, and all of this stuff also needs to be a child, so I'll just constrain this group. And this group. So right side controls, parent. Okay. Uh, let's grab these controls on the feeler things and do a parent constraint. I'm just hitting G now since I already constrained one of them. Now I'm just repeating. Okay, this guy. Control the bone. Control the bone. Okay. I believe that's all of them. So maybe we will cut do this video shorter and the next one I will uh, well first I guess one more thing so all right so now I just want to rename all these IK handles so grab all four of these go to my renamer script I've been using Call this left leg IK handle. IK handle. I'm going to copy that to do it on the right side. Enter. Okay, handle. Oops. Uh, okay. Right, IK okay, handles. Okay, those are named. Is everything named now? How are these controls? Feeler. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to. In the skeleton, something that's been bugging me a little bit is I want to change all of these to end, since they're not something that has any skinning on it. So select, I mean, modify, search and replace names, change seg4 to end and then on the feeler turn seg 5 to end and on the mouth seg 3 to end and just so I know looking later that those aren't something that's skinned. I just put end on things. All right. So I think that's everything for this video. In the next video, I'm going to clean, clean it up, clean up what we see and color the controls and we'll go from there. So see you in the next video.